All right, we got a grow tent. We got 1.2 giga hash of raw GPU power mining Ethereum in this grow tent. So what does it look like? All right, we have a grow tent, a Vivo Sun. Everyone pretty much has one of these that has a grow tent. Uh, this is in a residence. It's great for getting the heat out of your room, out of the house, basement, wherever you have your grow tent. I recommend it. And it also keeps all the bugs and dirt, whatever, off your cards as best as possible. You'll still have to clean your GPUs now and then to get the dust bunnies out and stuff. And that does help keep them cool. So let's open this puppy up. We have a Vivo Sun, like I said. The only issue I had is these damn zippers will get bound up. But you just got to be careful when you're opening the thing. And if you do get them bound up, you have a little project for a little bit to unbind them. Here we got GPU wood rack number one. And this is a wood rack I built for seven bucks. I always say, do not waste my money on fancy racks. It's not going to make you money. Why spend 200 plus bucks on these racks? You don't need to spend that money, guys. You can build a rack for seven bucks from Home Depot wood. Just cut it, screw it together, done. Measure Cut, cut, measure twice, cut once, you're done. This is a uh, 30, uh, 6600 XT rig, six, 6600 XT mining Ethereum, 32 mega hash each per card. Uh, let's see what else. That is looking good. I got the HP power supply, got the high quality power connector cables. You don't want to get the ones off Amazon. They seem to be cheap and lower gauge and tend to melt. Uh, you got to get off another site. And um, these are GPU riser cables right here and parallel minor stuff as well, power supplies and cables. So you got to get the good stuff. Do it right. Careful of the Amazon stuff. Go with what other miners recommend and always verify what you're buying. It's your money, it's your hardware, and you don't want to have any issues. So get the high quality stuff. All right, there is one rig, MSI motherboard running with an AMD on it, under the scenes. Second rig, this is a metal Home Depot baking rack, 29 bucks, baby. You want to go out and spend 300 bucks on a rack because you look cool? All right, knock yourself out. You have to ROI that money, unless you're just in it to spend money that's, that's on you. My thing is I bought these cards. I want to ROI it. I want my money back first before I consider buying anything else. And right now with the Ethereum proof of stake looming over all of us, I'm not in I'm not likely to buy any GPUs right now, especially with scalper prices. Maybe if prices drop below MSRP, maybe, but I'm still not willing to put more money into GPUs at this time. I'm really focused now on CPU mining because I am making money on CPU mining as well. And though that's a lower cost entry and they're gonna be around a lot longer, I believe, CPU mining. And uh, yeah, you can make some money and you can ROI a lot faster and they don't use much power and they generate less heat than these things, hence the grow tent. So what do we have here? Six horrible 3080 Ti LHR cards. Nvidia hates miners. That's why they put the low hash rate LHR limiter on the cards. I don't know why the guy who runs that place hates miners. Miners buy one to many cards. That could really make their sales go through the roof versus selling one or two cards to a couple gamers that play Call of Duty. Ridiculous business model they have. I own NVIDIA stock. The thing has tanked on me 35%. Horrible move on my part. I need them as a stockholder to start focusing on making cards for uh, crypto miners. Sure, the 3090 Ti comes out with 115 mega hash on Ethereum, but the damn card costs 2,000 bucks. You are not going to ROI that card with current profitability in under 450 days. That is a lot of power, time, cleaning, replacing pads, all that work. I don't know, man. I'd rather take that 2,000 bucks and just buy Ethereum directly through an exchange and hold it and maybe stake it as well. And you're going to be right, uh, way ahead of the game, right out of the, right out of, you know, right out of the gate. If you buy it versus spending 2000 bucks on a 3090 Ti. So NVIDIA needs to get their act together. But <clears throat> having said that, we have the 3080 Ti. We have T-Rex Miner out there with their LHR Unlock software, 0.25.12. I was one of the beta testers on uh, uh, 25.10, 25.11, 25.11 fix, all that stuff, testing out their software. Uh, this 25.12 is dialed in. 
things stable. And I'm now able to squeeze out 94 mega hash on Ethereum on these 3080 Ti's. So we're getting a little more juice out of them and the power wattage usage is still below 300 watts, about 275 approximately on all six cards. Uh, different model cards, obviously some with three power inputs, some with two. But again, this is what this rig's doing. Bought a lot of these cards, six of them, and put a lot of money in these cards. I want to ROI them, and that's why I don't buy fancy stuff. I just buy stuff that makes me money, or I build it. Um, yeah. Like, yeah, for this room, I have the 8-inch exhaust fan. You need that at least 8-inch on your uh, grow tent. Don't get anything smaller. You also need to exfil the room air at the higher level of your room, because this is almost like a little baby wood stove. It radiates heat, because inside... I get about 100 Celsius, I'm in a warm climate, and it will radiate heat outside the wall as it even exhausts the heat, the, the air from this tent. So as it radiates heat, the room fills up at higher levels, the heat goes to the top of your room, and it comes down and the grow tent keeps recirculating that air into the tent, raising temperatures. So you need to put a fan up high and exhaust that heat, and I did that, I added a $40 fan. Again, I'm cheap cost-effective ways, most efficient ways to get the job done. $40 exhaust fan right here, right there, baby. Simple, 300 uh, CFM. And that thing has worked like a champ because right up here where the flashlight is, where this thing, it's about, this is about, say, four, four foot, a little over four foot. This is five, over five. So right up the top of the window, and it's taking all the heat up in here where it collects from this radiation of the... Uh, grow tent and it gets it out and it keeps the temps in the room lower and it keeps the grow tent temps lower. It works. 40 bucks, baby. You can spend, you can go get the fanciest things and buy more duck fans. It's not going to work. You got to get the heat out of the room. And the grow tents are great too. I want to mention, even if you're stuff in the garage, you need to protect the GPUs. So not just to isolate heat and ex exhaust heat, but also to keep the cards dirt, dust, bug free as much as possible. Because, uh, you will get bugs in these things if you have them out in a garage or in a room. So it's do your best, and the grow tent does help protect the cards. They are an investment, guys. You're, I mean, I don't know about you. You're spending thousands of bucks on these damn cards. So you might have, you might as well do your best to protect them. Another rig here. I had three cards on here, 3060 Ti's. These are getting 50 mega hash each. I took the 3070 Ti off because I was having issues with the heat on it, and I moved it out for testing, and I'm getting that thing under control. Uh, rig down here is six various 1660, 1660 supers, 3060s. This is a 2013 gaming rig Astrock motherboard I built in 2013, obviously. Thing worked like a champ. I used one of these splitters right here, one to four, and I plugged in six GPUs. The thing came up right away. Motherboard recognized it from the first power on, fired up the miner, boom, making money. You know, mining Ethereum. You get these newer motherboards, you have to tweak the BIOS, you have to do all this Gen 2 crap. Man, this old 2013 Astrock knew right away what to do, got the job done. Uh, very impressive. So that that's amazing. That's my workhorse. No problems with that one. So there it is. Uh, let me show you this. These are all CPUs outside. Again, I do have a bug in this one. So you, that's why I should protect these in a tent because I had a little wasp or something got stuck in there in the fan. So, yeah, you got to watch that when you're mining out in a room or out in a garage or something. 3070 Ti making 64 mega hash now on Ethereum having memory hot temps on this puppy, but as you, I mean, it, I don't know. Everyone complains about these cards and they're above 106, 104, 110 memory temps. The outside temp is normal. It's like 60, 50, you know, something nominal, but I don't know. I'm thinking these damn cards have a bad sensor in it for temperature reporting. Again, that's software temperature reporting because when I get down here, this card is not hot at all. I did take off the back plate. Because under the backplate had thermal pads and they weren't in the best shape. I just, I'm just leaving the damn backplate off because it really wasn't acting as a heat sink. And I said, all right, I'll just take it off. Just be mindful. You know, I expose all the chips here. But they had thermal pads right there and right there on those chips. And I said, ah, whatever. I'll leave it off for now. And in here you see the gray. There's thermal pads there. I replaced these things like twice or three times just to get this memory temp down. No luck. New thermal paste on the chip itself. No luck. That's where I'm starting to think there's a faulty temperature sensor on this uh, 3070 Ti. It has to be because I don't feel heat at all from that thing. It's just no different than any other GPU I have running. So I do have copper thermal plates coming for this. 
40 bucks. I didn't want to spend the money, but I needed to see if I can get these temperatures down because I do have one 3080 Ti, about one of four. I need to see if it works on this 3070 Ti. I'll take, I'll order another th uh, copper plate and put on the 3080 Ti. Uh, this one was already cracked open, so I didn't. I wanted to use this as my uh, test GPU first to see if that works. All right, that is where we are. That is where we are. I have two other miners. Their laptops are in another room. A Dell. 3060 and a 1660 Lenovo working in another room mining Ethereum. So there's my grow tent, 1.2 giga hash. That's what it looks like. Sure, other people have three giga hash, whatever. I don't want to spend any more money at this point with proof of stake coming on Ethereum. And I'm trying to get my ROI back. And that's why I always re repeat myself saying I'm not going to spend money on fancy racks, uh, high-end equipment. I just do stuff like wood racks. $40 exhaust fans just to get the job done and start making money because money is freedom right now and I want to stack coins and I think the market's going to take off eventually again and I want to have enough coins to be prepared to uh, make some profits and maybe ROI this stuff right away. Also here, look, look how I mount my, my GPUs to the wireframe. I use a freaking deck screw and I'm using uh, uh, wire wraps, tie wraps. Why? Because I wanted to hang the GPUs out to give them more airflow, and I didn't want to spend uh, 40 bucks. I bought these stupid risers, these uh, uh, 3D printed GPU risers from one of the dudes, and uh, totally useless. They work, but again, there's heat and they're plastic. They crack where the screw goes in to mount them to the wire, so they, they start falling apart and they bend. So when you take them off, there's like an uh, you know, just the weight of the GPU has been bending them. So I would not recommend buying these uh, 3D printed stuff at all. Just use what you can use. Use these use these freaking uh, tire wire wraps, tie wraps, or use the screw. Look at that. The screw goes right through the hole. And then I put the tongues of the uh, bracket right there up over the wire. So this one I'm using a screw to hold it because I want it vertical. These I use the tie wrap because I want them to hang out at like a you know a 15 degree angle to offset them from the other ones just for airflow. Airflow is key in a grow tent to keep that uh, heat off the card. So there you go. Simple ways to save money. What I'm doing in my grow tent, basic, not a huge miner by any any means, but I'm learning, I'm learning. And uh, it's kind of interesting, good learning experience. And um, hopefully keep going, keep making money. All right, guys, I'm out. Go forth. Take a look at those beautiful 6600 XT Red Devils. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you later. Uh, see what else we can make a video on. All right. Take care, man.